Tell me about the training value you've gotten out of OCSJX-14. The training value has been a great opportunity for the Air National Guard. Um, there's only four Air National Guard personnel here for the whole exercise out of approximately 450 to 500 people. So that is a great opportunity, unique experience that we have to basically come and prove ourselves and tell our story. So would you say that you have um, learned a lot while you were here? Tremendous amount of information uh, to use for contracting, and not only for contracting, but to share with um, our leadership and the planning on um, how to do these types of scenarios and exercises. And, um, just be prepared if something like this does occur. Uh, I think it's really good training for us because the Guard, the Air National Guard and the Army Guard has a home station mission. We would probably be the first responders in something like this. So uh, for me, that, that has been a really value added for me. The other thing that I've really gained from this is the fact that I've got the chance to work with the other services. Uh, in my flight, for instance, or in my uh, RCC, we have Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and civilians. So getting their wealth of knowledge and sharing it and coming together as a team has been a really awesome experience for me. I am a member of the JITSIC team. Uh, in a normal situation, I would probably be the boots on the ground doing the award, where in the JITSIC team, I'm at like flying 50,000 feet, where we're seeing the high level and making the more tactical and strategic decisions in the exercise. So would you say that this exercise has been a positive thing for you? It has, because it's opened my eyes on, on to what goes above, uh, happens above our level when we're in the contracting field. The thing about, about Air National Guardsmen, the Army National Guard, uh, the Guard as a whole, is our people are held to the same standard as the active duty force. For example, in contracting, just like with this exercise, um, we still have to get the same acquisition levels, the same FSC training, and uh, while they're holding down their job, working 40 hours a week, they're still able to do their training, uphold their levels, and uh, do the missions. So uh, we're not just Guardsmen, but we're part of uh, the total force. We're American Airmen. In my opinion, the guard does it and does it well.